Hey everyone, welcome to Live Chat University. Today we're going to be diving into the team section in the Live Chat app. We'll talk about inviting agents, how to change agent availability, and creating groups. Let's dive in. The team section is the central hub for managing the people who make your Live Chat experience work. Whether you're onboarding new agents or refining your team's structure, the team section has everything you need to streamline your operations. To begin, it's important to ensure that all agents use valid email addresses when creating their accounts. Remember, an agent's email cannot be changed later. If updates are needed, a new account must be created and the old one deleted. So start with accurate information from the get. Agents can be invited to join live chat in two ways, by sending email invitations or by sharing an invite link. To send email invitations, go to the team section and click on invite agents. Here we wanna enter our team member's email address. We want to assign them a role. So administrators have access to all features but cannot transfer ownership. Then we have admins but with billing access. And agents, on the other hand, focus on handling customer chats and data related to their assigned groups. Click on the role and click on send invites. Now, there's a third official role in live chat, the owner. The owner is the person who created the live chat license and oversees everything, including billing. There can only be one owner at a time and ownership can be passed to another agent in the subscription section. You can use an invite link for a simpler process if you have multiple agents to onboard. Just share the link and they can sign up independently with their email, name, and password. Both methods make it easy to onboard new team members quickly and effectively. Now, after you invited your agents to live chat, you want to make sure you set up their availability correctly. To do that, select all the agents you need and you can adjust their availability in bulk by picking availability settings. Decide if your agents should be available for chats as soon as they log into the live chat app or if they should have time to switch to accepting chats themselves. Now this ensures customers are only routed to agents who are ready to help, preventing missed opportunities and improving efficiency. Then we wanna click save. Individual agent profiles can also be customized. So let's move on to editing agent profiles. Now administrators and owners can edit details like availability settings, roles, and permissions. Agents can personalize their profiles by adding a photo, which adds professionalism, and trust to customer interactions. To edit a profile, click on the ellipsis and edit profile. It's as simple as that. So you definitely wanna encourage your agents to upload a photo. Uh, you can also take a look at all the other details that you can edit here, like a group assignment or email updates. Now let's talk more about groups. Groups are a powerful feature in live chat that help organize your team by departments, functions, or specialities. You can assign a different group to each site or page you use. For example, if a chat starts on your pricing page, it can be routed to your sales team. This way, you can manage all of your pages and sites using one live chat license. You can also add a group selection to your pre-chat form to let customers choose the right department before they start a chat. This allows customer queries to be routed to the most appropriate agents, reducing response times and also making sure issues are resolved efficiently. To create a group, go to the team section, go to the groups tab and click on a new group. Let's name our group, add our members, click on create, then click on done. So groups are fully customizable and agents can belong to multiple groups. You can of course edit or delete a group anytime. While all accounts include a default general group containing all agents, custom groups can be set up to handle specific tasks or areas of expertise. Right, that's all for this lesson. Click that bell icon so you don't miss an update as soon as our next lesson comes out. Take care and see you soon.